Hey guys, so I've been doing some testing about what Endermen can move and what they can't move, and um, if it's a square block that takes up the whole space, Endermen can move it. I tested absolutely everything it's possible for creatures to spawn on, including bedrock, pardon my punching, obsidian, everything, and Endermen can move it. And I was doing this because, well, they screwed up my mob system and I need some revenge. I need a new mob system that works and just messes them up. And because I can't do it this way, I decided I'm going to do it another way. And I figured out how to make a fully working Enderman mob system. So I finally finished this, did make a little modification here, it's all staircases going up to the top. I suppose they can grab blocks off the side here and there on their way down, but I'm not horribly worried about that. It just means they'll clear it for me, haha. Uh -huh. We already have creatures coming down here. So I'm just going to wait here for an enderman. We'll see how long that takes. They are pretty rare. Hopefully not too horribly long. She did get one or two things before I fix this. And this. Nom 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 nom. What? <laughs> My wife's picking on me playing Minecraft too much. But it will be the first Enderman trap that's actually an Enderman trap, baby. <laughs> we care deeply about this. Nom 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 nom. Oh, I'm not hungry. I can't eat it. But I want to be a cannibal. <laughs> the, z the zombies drop rotting flesh now. That you can eat. Yeah, I know. It's gross, but it's kind of amusing at the same time. So here I am waiting for a rare mob to spawn and fall down my trap. When hardly any spawn ever. I should just leave this alone and turn off my microphone. And I'll cut to a slow-mo of it falling down when I come back after I review the video to find when it happened. <laughs> I wouldn't actually do that. That doesn't sound bad. I won't be wasting all my time sitting around doing this. Not that it's ever a waste of time to hang out with you, my lovely viewers. Nom 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 nom. Oh, I edit that kind of stuff out for time if I need to. It's only YouTube that keeps these from being horrible. In fact, I may edit out something relevant just to include this. It'll be uh, it'll be wonderful. We'll be right at the end, and they'll have to know if the Enderman comes down or not. They'll be forced to listen to me doing this. It, sh she's giving me such a look. Okay, I'm gonna do that thing I said, because I want all the loot. So I'm gonna go like, oops, I'm gonna go like this. If I'm just hanging out here, that stops me from washing away. If you're just grabbing stuff through a corner, it's a good tip. I kind of wonder if I'm going to come back dead, though, if I'm watching for Enderman through this gap. Oh well. Interesting to find out. I'll be back. Thank you, lovely viewers. Guys, I did it, I did it! 
I'm totally psyched that I came back and had an ender pearl. Really, I just recorded the ending and uh, I forgot to turn the microphone on. The wife was sassing me the whole time too. It was kind of funny. Oh, All right. She just sassed me again. Did you hear that? <laughs> All right. I'm. I actually just checked YouTube and this will be the first Enderman mob farm up. It's pretty exacting, but really it's just a cobble generator placed exactly the right way and knowing what blocks I can pick up and not. Um, yeah, so that's it. I'm heading out now. I hope you all enjoyed, and I'm probably going to put up some links to other things that might be helpful to you all at the end. Remember to thumbs up if this helped you make your own Enderman farm. <laughs>